morning everyone. We are delivering some CBS wheat and then in that truck, oh back there, I have hard red wheat so we're going to be delivering both of these today and hopefully a little bit more. We actually did get stuck with this one behind the farm because we wanted to keep delivering our hard red but it rained 35 millimeters again overnight so the farm is just up, just mud. I can show you the back. So this is our 30,000 bushel bin. We got our tractor that's hooked up with hydraulics to that auger and that obviously powers the auger. Then we got our conveyor and that's going in there. So we just started loading and this is CPS wheat. So we're going to take Emma with. She comes with on truck rides, but she's got to go to the bathroom first, right? Because it's a longer drive. So we train all of our dogs to go into the meadow here. So that's what her command up and divide is. And then once she's done there, we're going to hit the road. Good girl, Emma. Come on. Good girl. Let's go. All right. Let's get going. guys there isn't a line this is amazing g3 can back up like crazy if there's like more than two people here uh because they only have the one pit so, very new but they only built one pit don't ask me why it makes no sense but i'm gonna be in and out of here nice and quick today so first things first if you've never been to a grain elevator uh, it's huge <laughs> and the first station here is always a probe well not always but most of the stations or most of the elevators have probes so that's this yellow thing right here so we are going to go right up to that and they're gonna probe every hopper that I have over the tractor you can see that right there and then this obviously goes on the conveyor and into the trailers all right i am folding up our amity drill that's behind me right now just getting it out of the way because right now it's between our shop and barn all right so now the second part is going up so you can see it from the back too you can see we took all of the rollers out and the bottoms are open and there you go all right, so we're just gonna be moving into the back of the farm. Uh, so I have to go behind all these bins and it'll be on the that back side. For the new hopper bins that are coming in. So six new hopper bins that are in the back there and they just delivered the parts for it. So yeah, that's some of them. There's way more on the other side of the, of the bins. This is just a couple of the parts. This is our progress so far here, but it did rain a lot, so it's been pretty slow going. Here's a couple of the other parts. So that's obviously to build the sidewalls. And that's pretty much it, actually. And that will build six hopper bins that are going to be even bigger than those ones right there. So a little bit of reparation still needs to happen. So one of the big lines, um, where it kind of goes on this little hill, the seed really and the fertilizer really hits the top of the line and then goes down. 
and it really wears on the lines. Uh, so one of those broke through there, so that one needs to be replaced. So we want to have this completely done before next planting season, so greased, washed, everything repaired, so that in the next spring, right, we can just pull it out and get going on the field. Uh, because if there's anything wrong with this in the spring, it is super busy then, right? We're trying to treat our seed, clean our seed. Uh, so we don't want to have to worry about fixing anything here or greasing everything. Like, we just want to be able to hook up and go. You can see some duct tape that's fallen off. So that line is damaged. That is one line that definitely needs to be replaced. Small lines. So one of these lines basically broke off here, but on the fertilizer ones. So that one just needs to be fixed. Oh, there it is. See how I duct taped it to the one that was next to it so it wouldn't fall around everywhere? So that one needs to be replaced. We do have a couple of tires here that weren't so good, so we're gonna have to check up on those. Basically do a one thorough check, make sure everything's 100% ready to go for next season. And that is it for this drill. And we're gonna go back to the front of the farm and get stuff done there.